Remember what I was complaining about last intro? Yikes. Hello, welcome to the video. I feel like I needed to update you guys on some things and I'm wanting to make some changes. First of all, I want to apologize for noise in here. My fish tanks are running and I have a new PC which I'll show you in a bit. The first thing I want to get into is that I'm going to be changing the name of this channel. I definitely feel like Yoichi Films doesn't roll off the tongue very well and I also don't think that people are able to pronounce it very easily. I want a name that people can see, immediately remember, and know how to say. So I'm going through a bunch of different names that I could potentially change to, but I really want your guys' help. So if you guys have an idea of a name, please comment or message me about it because I'm not very creative when it comes to this type of stuff. And if you send me a name that I end up sticking with and changing the, the channel name to, I'll do something special for you. I still have a couple stickers of my original Yoichi Films slaps that I, I might give one of those away or I'll figure something out. I just need a name like ASAP. Also D-Days this weekend which is kind of a big deal for us in St. Louis because this is going to be our first time camping at the track. If you've paid attention lately a lot of tracks and event holders have been doing two-day camping events or three-day camping events and I've never got to do that. Uh, I mean there's been Super D but I'm not driving so it's just kind of like a uh, crash in the car or crash at a hotel and come back. But this event I am driving, so I will be able to pitch a tent and sleep at the track, wake up the next day. And it's going to be cool because we're technically going to be driving two different courses each day. The first day is actually a Midnight Madness, and you've probably seen plenty of my Midnight Madness videos where it's just a tiny box with just some cones thrown in there. And it's small, fun, and really good for beginners, but... And I still really enjoy Midnight Madnesses, and they're super cheap. They're 25 bucks for anybody to come in and drift or drag. So we're going to do Madness, and then towards the end of the night, once everybody leaves, we're going to pitch our tents, like get our camps ready, and then go to bed. And then the next morning, we're going to wake up, and it's going to technically be D-Day. And if you've ever seen the D-Day videos, it's the entire parking lot. Instead of that tiny little secluded box, we normally have the entire parking lot to do whatever we want with. And I think this year we might be doing Tomata Sportsland? I'm not sure. I remember seeing a post about it. But if we do Tomata Sportsland, I've done fucking millions of laps on a set of Corsa. I should be able to have that down pretty easy. So I'm pretty excited about that. I still have a few more things i got to get ready. Other than that, the car's been fine. I haven't been uploading recently, and I want to apologize for that and there has been things that I could have been filming this entire time it's just life's kind of been kicking my ass and I, I just wanted to get as much stress out of my life as I could for a little while there's one thing I have to explain uh, at the last D-Day on the road course um, I shredded that belt my serpentine belt and the car didn't run right after that so took her back to the house didn't touch it for like a month and then finally cracked into it to find out that a lifter got stuck um, one of the lifter bucket got stuck halfway open and I thought it was going to be the end of the world then I remember that they're non-interference motors so the valves didn't even touch the piston or anything like that so we pulled the cam out we messed with it got it to pop back up make sure everything was fine slid it back in runs fine just has a lifter tick other than that I just did an oil change and I did spark plug wires because one was cut and it was misfiring and also tires, I, I need more tires. So that's gonna be a whole nother video on itself. Uh, I really hope the event goes well. It's gonna be a stressful day, but uh, I hope I have a great time and all my friends have a great time. I will probably total my car. Uh, that sounds about the right day to do it. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to talk about is that there's been a few like native St. Louis like Drift STL guys that have been getting their names out. And I thought that that's really cool. Like they're going on doing better things. And it's so weird because they're on other people's YouTube channels now or you're just seeing them in all of these posts of just big people or companies that you that we've all followed for a long time now and it's just so weird to see their faces in it. So like watching Hoonigan's weird because Dan St. Louis area and we've I've seen Dan at every event since I started and so that's kind of cool to see him moving up and doing his own thing. And it's always been cool seeing Andrew Lewis doing the whole FD thing, which I don't think he's doing anymore. I don't remember. I don't talk to him that much. But it was always cool to see that there was another local guy doing pro stuff. And that now this year we're going to have Derek from Team Infamous. You've seen Derek in all of my videos. I used to travel with him all the time and he's still a good friend. And it's going to be so crazy seeing him doing Formula Drift also. because. 
we would always go to his house for Formula Drift parties. Like, we'd go there, sit down, and watch Formula Drift. So now it's going to be weird that if I'm not going to be at that event, it's going to be weird that if I want to sit down and watch it, I'm not going to be sitting there watching it with him. I'm going to be watching him on the TV. And also, yeah, Seehausen. He's doing the whole thing with Adam LZ and being in Formula Drift. That's another guy that we'd always see at events or following uh, Metzger, which is another guy that's always in Texas videos and in Lone Star videos. He followed Metzger and did his whole program, and then now he's going to be managing, I think, uh, LZ's program. So it's like this whole internet platform of drifting that I, I spend so much time with and that everybody's so familiar with, we're seeing so many of our own locals being a part of all those big groups. And I think that that's fucking awesome. Like it is, it's so cool seeing that. And then it's also cool to like talk to other people and be like, oh, okay, you watched that too? That's awesome. Well, remember this guy from, you know, that episode or this? Oh, do you know that he's from here? Yeah, he's, he's always been at the events. Like it's, it's, so awesome to me and I really hope that that keeps happening because St. Louis has always been a very niche community and not a lot of people know about us. It's always been quiet here. Nobody comes here to events and the people that live here don't normally travel outside of events so it's very quiet and, and very closed community so to see that it's starting to open up especially with Formula Drift being here like FD coming to St. Louis, that brought a whole bunch of people here for the first time and to see our community and our types of people and what we do and it's definitely boosting some people's interest in it. Uh, Lone Star round three, uh, I'm gonna be doing that. Uh, I have my flight booked, um, let's hope that nothing fucking happens to where I miss that flight like the last time but uh, uh, I'll be there, um, I'll be staying with my buddy Justin I'm pretty sure and then uh, that I'm gonna be meeting all of my internet friends which is gonna be awesome finally meeting Mike and Colin and everybody else it's gonna be awesome so I'll be doing a video on that that's next month I'm pretty sure oh Floof my cat hold on uh, I finally gave him an actual name his name is Felix okay well run along that didn't last long he's been doing great finally got him fixed um, he's fluffy as hell he destroys all my shit, and he's just being a cat. <laughs> it's been really interesting having a cat. I was never a cat person, and so this has been a really weird experience for me, but I I've been enjoying it. Floof's really fucking cool when he's not scratching the piss out of me, or he's not fucking just being a spaz. <laughs> Mullet update. <laughs> I gotta quit with this shit. I need to shave this shit off already. But, um, it's definitely long now. <laughs> I think I finally reached uh, the... A full mullet and I fucking hate it. I hate everything about this shit. <laughs> it's just too good of a meme and people keep telling me they'll call the cops if I shave it off so then I'm just, I don't know what to do. I look like a fucking idiot and girls are very concerned when they see it. <laughs> Some of them are interested which is cool but then that kind of concerns me on why they like mullets. <laughs> and my new PC, yeah I'll show you that. Alright, this is the new PC. Um, it has been many years of me needing to build a PC, but putting it off, and I am so happy I finally built one. I have been using this fucking old ass PC that was built in 2013. I've been using that ever since I bought it back in 2014, and literally just recently I finally built my own PC, thanks to Alex helping me get everything back together. A uh, quick rundown on parts, NZXT case, AMD Ryzen 7, um, ASUS motherboard, GTX 1660 Ti, 16 gigs of Triton Z RAM, yes I paid the extra $40 for the RGB, and I actually have a G-Scale power supply which you can't see, it's, it's hidden under there. And if you're into PC stuff, that's actually kind of interesting, I didn't even know that they came out with power supplies, but they recently did, I picked it up and I enjoy it and the cables actually look really good and it is a modular power supply. An SSD, a terabyte hard drive that I need to get like six more of because fucking YouTube just destroys my hard drives. And Windows 10. Psst. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited about the PC. I've wanted to build one for years. I've needed to build one for years. Adobe Premiere on that old PC was god-awful. So it's nice to finally have a rig that is 
built for it and does it really fucking well. I've been really lazy with videos, like I said. I actually, I have two videos. I just need to finish editing and they're ready to be uploaded. Whenever I stop being a piece of shit, I'll actually get around to editing those two. It's an RC Drift video and a Counter-Strike video, a gaming video, which of course I've never uploaded anything like that, but now that I have a PC that is capable of running OBS under games without really f destroying my FPS is awesome. So I'm gonna try that out and see if I like it and then um, I'm gonna probably film some a set of courses stuff. If I do start making gaming videos, it's just gonna be like funny moment type montage. I don't want a 10 minute video of just no talking bullshit. It's just gonna be the cuts of the funny parts. But I'm not getting into that now. <laughs> Hopefully I'll stop being lazy and I can start putting a lot more dedication towards this channel because I don't wanna stop doing it. Like I, I thoroughly enjoy filming these and uploading the videos and I really hope that one day this channel can move me on to a career or a friendship that really, I don't know, helps me out. Like I, I really would like to be able to explore more and film more things and meet more people. And I feel like this is the easiest way to do it and it's also something that I actually enjoy as much as I've been procrastinating editing. I, I really do enjoy this shit. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you at D-Day.